Hi, and welcome to IIAC Mix Minutes, a series of videos to help you better understand and get the most out of your IIAC Wear plugins. In this video, we will demonstrate the amazing power of COS Pro Hyper EQ by equalizing a sound to itself. Here I have a drum loop from Wally Ingram of Wally Tracks. Let me play it. Sounds good. Just a nice straight beat. All right, now I'm gonna create a preset. So auto-generate. Uh, let me freeze that too. And maybe do a little tweaking. Uh, nope, doesn't really need it. Well, maybe a little bit here. And this is a uh, this is the best way to create preset your own presets. You know, auto generate, and then it will get things sort of in the ballpark, and then you can just fine tune. There we go. All right. Uh, let me fix this. Yeah, there you go. And let's start with that, okay? Now we can even just EQ it to itself. Doesn't do that much, but you know, it kind of tightens it up. But here's something really cool. Let's go to, let's take it off a of freeze. Let's go to 25% and now let's hit conform. All right. And now let's go in and just kind of fix these parts here. Let's drop this down. And this is always good to do. It's a great way to experiment um, and see what kind of, uh, you know, subtle differences you can get. You know, that's the beauty of working with, uh, of driving the EQ process with noise. You know, each one of these ceilings is a, um, is noise, which is perfect sound. So. Everything is going to sound good. Now let's leave that up. Bring this way down. Oh no, here we go. And if you need to, you can, uh, you know, click and, and select a, a couple. Hold down control, select a, a couple uh, preset points, or excuse me, EQ points, and move them together. All right. And there you go. Yeah, that sounds kind of interesting. Go back. Drop this down a wee bit more. Doesn't sound bad. Before. After. There you go. Whoops. Sort of EQ match or level match here. Down a wee bit more. And that's just all we're doing is EQing a sound to itself. I guess we didn't have to do that much. It was pretty much in the ballpark. Now let's uh, see what 0% sounds like, all right? So we'll just go in here and crap a little bit more. You know, it's just a great way to find different tonalities, but always adhering to the ceilings, you know, which is, which is noise, perfect sound. I mean, the beauty, this is so efficient. There's no guesswork in it at all.
before. After. And there you go. That's uh, that's how <laughs> how fun it is to um, you know, when you're working with uh, with a hyper EQ and you're and you're you're dealing with the, the efficiency of noise as as your EQ process. You know, um, all we did was just took the original sound, which did not sound bad, and we we just simply created a preset of itself. And then changed our you know, right click, change our spectrum smoothing, and you can go the opposite way too uh, for a whole no another tonality. Check this out. Okay, let me start this again. And just hit conform. Let's go all the way to 100 percent. Seventy five. Oh, you know what? Let's just tweak a bit here. All right. I'll we'll leave that one down. Bring this up. Yeah. Oh, down a bit here. You know what? See? Like I said, it's just, you know, it's just fun. You know, so experiment, um, you know, of course, what we would have a, the whole song playing and then we would see which one we liked best. Or if we needed to, you know, we could bring up a, um, you know, a guide and do, um, you know, and, and adjust some of this part. You go, OK, we want this to follow the guide. So we would drop that down to to brown, do this. And then, of course, then we would follow, make sure that um our spectrum, we would adjust the EQ so the spectrum follows the, the ceilings. But um, there you go. You can just EQ a sound to itself. All right. Have fun. Happy mixing. Bye.